What's up, it guys? I am Adam with Street Smart Christian. Have you ever had anxiety? Have you ever been anxious for anything? I know that I've dealt with that a lot in my past, and I still deal with it today. And what does it say in the Bible? In Philippians 4, 6, it tells us to be anxious for nothing, but in everything be in prayer and petition. And with thanksgiving, make your requests known to the Lord. Well, that sounds easier said than done, but really think about it, guys. How many of you guys have ever thought, well, you know what? I'm having a panic attack right now. Uh, My anxiety's through the roof. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to sit here and freak out about it. Well, that's 90% of us. I think that that just comes natural. That's what our bodies tell us to do is to just deal with it. Sometimes we just keep it quiet. And people are like, what's going on? What's going on? Why are you so quiet? A lot of us don't even leave our houses because anxiety is so high. Um, We don't want to deal with people. We don't want to go anywhere. So we become introverted. And that's really not what we need to be. We need to be out outgoing. Uh, We need to be extroverted. We need to be out there fellowshipping with like-minded Christian people, just people in general, seeing smiling faces, smiling souls, loving on people. That's what we should do. But when that anxiety creeps up and it just takes over, it can be crippling. I understand this. But when it tells us in Philippians, it says to uh, be anxious for nothing. Mm, Okay, easier said than done. But in everything, be in prayer. Prayer. How many of you guys have ever just stopped having, during a panic attack, how many of you have just stopped and got into constant prayer? Just had a conversation with the Lord cried out to him to help you through that. And a lot of you say, well, I try, I try, I try. Do you really try? Really pray and have that conversation with God. And I guarantee that eventually it starts to ease up. Eventually the weights are coming off your shoulders. The chains of anxiety are broken. And when you do this and you make that a habit of doing that, every time you start to feel a panic attack coming on or every time you feel like anxiety is right around the corner and you just take the time, stop and pray about it, man, it is incredible the things that can happen. Now, do I do that every single time? No, because I get wrapped up in this worldview of things on how you're supposed to deal with anxiety. And I get it. This is something that can be crippling. It's something that takes over. And if you need to see uh, a professional, medical professional, then I urge you to do that if you think that's what you need to do. But maybe try to start with prayer, 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 prayer. Get those anxious thoughts out of you and maybe look into what it is that's making you anxious. Is it being in crowds? Maybe it's just because you drink 93 energy drinks a day. I know that if I have one energy drink, oh, my anxiety's through the roof. My head feels like it's about to explode and my heart's going to stop. So I had to cut that out of my life. I had to cut um, energy drinks out. A lot of sugary substances I had to cut out. Um, A lot of times what gives us anxiety is we hide the truth or we uh, live in a lie, or we're just telling stories that aren't necessarily lining up, and that causes us to be anxious because we feel that one day we're going to be brought into the light and it's going to all come out. Well, the best way to deal with that is to just be honest and truthful with everybody you encounter, whether the outcomes of these things are good or bad. But the main thing we need to take away from this is to constantly be in prayer. We need to be having that conversation with God when we wake up during the day and before we lay our heads down at night. We need to be in prayer with the Lord. You need to have that personal one-on-one time and not just for an hour on Sunday. You need to have that personal one-on-one time with God because he really wants to take that time to spend with you. And then it says, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. With thanksgiving, give thanks to God for everything that you have, because it's all glory to him. Give thanks to God. And then make your requests requests known to God. Tell him. I just, I don't know what to do. I need to get out of X, Y, and Z, or I need help with X, Y, and Z. Uh, Can you help me? And when you make those requests known to God with thanksgiving, you need to be thankful for everything that he gives to you. Whatever response it is, whatever you got going on with that, you need to be grateful. You need to be thankful. Give thanks to God and then make your, present your request to God. And before you know it, 
the anxieties chipped away little by little. Uh, the problems that you're facing are chipped away little by little. You're now walking in a bigger path with the Lord more and more, and we get to be closer with God. So next time when you guys are find yourself in a panic attack, anxiety is taking over. You're just riddled with it. You just you want to scream to the mountaintop, scream to God, pray to God, let him know what you're feeling. Ask the Lord to help you. I promise he will not let you down. But if you're going to talk about it, be about it. I love you guys. Don't forget to check out Street Smart Christian on all the social media platforms. Check out our podcast on YouTube at Street Smart Christian, the number one. And uh, if you want to help out the ministry, I'll show you ways that you can do that. We would sure appreciate everything that you guys can do. Love you guys. Later. (laughs) 